Good day. Hi, I'm Jess. So I'm about to discuss to you AWS Elastic Cloud Compute. So with this one, I will discuss to you some brief introduction about EC2. This is a service in AWS that allows businesses to run application programs in the Amazon service public cloud. EC2 allows a user to create virtual machine so that this virtual machine can, can create servers and data center. So so first things first, so I'll discuss AWS free tier. So with this one, you can gain free hands-on experience with the AWS platform products and services. So there are types of offers in under a free tier, always free. So this free tier offers do not expire and available to all AWS customers. So next is you will have at least 12 months free of, of usage of any services, selected services, and then short term free trials service offers are available through different software solution of AWS. So as you can see here, as I scroll down, you can see EC2 750 hours per month free for 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 Linux, Real and SLES. So Windows you get you will have also 750 hours. With storage for S3 you are given five gigabytes okay storage. So with RDS so this is the service for database, having database on your um, service. So here, 750 database, like DynamoDB, you have a storage of 25 gigabytes. SageMaker, 250. Lambda, a million uh, free requests per month. Okay. Compute, or the e, the light sale would be 750 as well. Guard duty, so this one, 30 days and sns for the notification one million so there's a lot of uh free freebies for for you so if you are asked to 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 check free tier for 12 months you are entitled selected services only okay now okay now so we're gonna create an ec2 So with this one, we go to this dashboard EC2. So for us to create our first server, so we're gonna click this launch instance, okay? So on the launch instance, you will add, you'll be asked to, um, what would be your Amazon machine image? So we're gonna choose free tier here. So we scroll it down and look for Windows. Okay, so for this one, there are, there is 1903 for annual channel release. Okay, we scroll it down here more. So I have here, let's say this one for data edition, 64 B. This is free tier. So I'm gonna select this one, okay? There. So I selected this one. And then I will be asked if what family. So so for this one, if you choose general purpose, this is for uh, scale out workloads, such as web servers, containerized microservices, caching fleets and distributed data stores as well as development environment. So this is used for, for let's say QA environment and servers. So usually those are the use case. Next is uh, what if you will be asked, what is, scroll it down slowly, what is compute optimized? So compute optimized is for, um, what is, this is for high performance web servers scientific modeling, batch processing, distributed analytics, um, high performance computing or HPC, machine and deep learning uh, inference, ad serving, high scalable multiplayer gaming and, uh, and video encoding. So if you would like to have a, a um, let's say a machine learning um, environment or application that contains machine learning, you choose compute optimized for this, for this one. So next is what are the other? So let's say um, GPU. So GPU is for for graphic processing unit GPU along with high CPU and network performance for applications. 
So this is uh, includes 3D graphics and rendering and media processing. If you would like to have your Bitcoin, so this is the, the option for you. Okay. So this one, FGPA, this is new. So provides customizable um, field programmable gate array that can uh, be programmed to create application specific hardware acceleration along with high CPU performance. So if you would like to have a, as much, uh, this is for, I, I can say, uh, more advanced Bitcoin miners, okay? So memory optimized, memory optimized is for um, uh, instances well suited for memory intensive applications such as high performance database, distributed web scale in-memory caching, so mid-size in-memory dash uh, database, real-time big data analytics, and other enterprise applications. This is more of, let's say, if you have a BI application or software or an application that uh, analyze a big uh, a data lake. So this, this is the one for you. So what else? I'll scroll it down. Storage. So storage optimized is for, um, Hmm. Use case is for let's say you're gonna implement a NoSQL database. Example are Cassandra, MongoDB, in-memory database like uh, Aerospike, scale up tra uh, transactional database, data warehousing, Elasticsearch, and analytic workload. So this is for you. For this is for optimized storage optimized. So there. So next is okay. So T2 has a nano, so this, this is the family. So this will indicate what, um, what instance. So P3, that nano, that this contain, uh, let's say uh, T2 micro receive CPU credits continuously at a rate of six CPU credits per hour. So, so there, okay. So T2 instance provide a baseline. So to cut it short, the first would be the, the, the version the instance under the family so this this will tell you what 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 the what would be the size of that one and then virtual cpu how many how many cpu you like okay so for me i chose this one for demo purposes G, gib i choose one so elastic block store this is for local instance store volume that are available to the instance so the data in an instant store is not permanent, so it persists only during the lifetime. So with this one, I just leave it by default. So, and then here, network performance, I set it to low to moderate. So, and then next is IPv6. I left it to equal to, to yes. So next. So with this one, I declare one, one, uh, one instance with this um, demo. And then um, spot, request so this is for if you have the option to request spot instance specify the maximum price you are willing to pay per instance hour if you bid higher than the current spot price your spot instance will staunch and will be charged at the current spot price so this is for if you would like to bid an existing um, instance then this is much cheaper okay so by default i choose the network okay for vpc so there Okay, so next, uh, by default, it will uh, uh, set all the property by default, the IP range, subnets, um, configuration, route tables, and configuration network gateways. So next is I, I choose the um, subnet here by default. Okay, so not, no preference by default. So auto assign public as is, and then placement group, I add uh, no, just leave it. So placement group is to benefit from greater redundancy or higher network throughput. So for this one, I just use default. So I will not add an instance. Capacity reservation here, choose it. Um, cap reserve capacity for your instance in a specific availability zone, no need. So here, uh, define a joint directory, no directory. So there, here, uh, I will, by default, I just, uh, set it to none it's because uh, this will give you the capability to to select an instance wherein it will automatically automatically create a console that contains its credentials okay instance 
Okay, next is um, shutdown behavior. So with this one, instance behavior with an OS shutdown, it is a stop only. Okay, so you could also shift it if if you shut down the behavior, it will terminate. So whether so I just give it a try here. So I just press stop. So next is enable termination uh, protection. This protect us against accidental termination. It will add an additional notification. Next is the um, monitoring. I just leave this one unchecked. It's because it will charge you an additional charge. So tenancy, I just uh, run it as a shared hardware instance. Elastic graphics, I just uh, leave it blank unchecked. And then T2, I just leave it blank for, for additional charges purposes. So next is uh, add storage. So with the storage, I just define 30. And then with this one, genetic purpose SSD, uh, I just choose uh, magnetic standard. It's because uh, for demo purposes, if you would like uh, more more uh, performance, you just choose provision. But if you would, if you are re a regular user of a computer, or you just uh, use the, the server for for a regular uh, task, you just choose SSD. So for me, I just choose magnetic. Okay, so click add tags. So with this tag, um, I'll add tag here for me to to um, uh, define what the, the object's name. Okay, so add let's say uh, name, their name, name let's say test windows. Okay, so click configure configure security group. So I will create my um, security group. Okay, a new security group. Okay, so next is launch. I'll just leave the default. Click launch. Okay, so make a um, boot from general purpose there. Okay, I just choose this one and then review. There you are. Click launch. There. So for this one, uh, a key pair. So I choose uh, a, a new key pair for this one for demo. So download key pair. Let's say, yes, KP. Okay. Oh, download key pair there. So there, there's the key pair. So launch instance, slowly, we just wait for it. So this will take time to, to, be, to, to be seen in our console. So view instances, as you can see here, we're gonna wait for a while. So here, so this is in a pending state. Okay, so we just wait. I just got the record. Okay, now, so I've seen here that the instance is running. Okay, so and then status would be two of two, check. So now, um, okay, gonna connect to it, check. So download our remote desktop file. There. So once the download is complete, this is where I um, access my, my server. So this will be as, okay, I just wait for it. Okay, so first things first, I'll get the password. So I'll paste what I did here. The, the, the dot pm okay back back oops wait uh, i repeat okay so 
get a password. Just open. So just open it. So this one, I just copy the content of the .tm, paste it here. Okay, then decrypt password there. So the password would be this one, okay? So um, I'll, uh, I'll close it. Okay, wait for it, sorry. Okay, going back here, I click connect. Okay, so next is I'll paste uh, the password here. Click OK. Wait for it. Yes. There. So I'm connecting on my server now. Okay, so here's my server. So this is. I'm preparing to open it this there. So there you are. Okay, so it's a working server. Okay. So this is your first view on your server. So as you can see, you can browse it. So this is one gigabyte. Okay. So this is a working server under AWS. So I'll be ending my demo about this one. Hope you like it and please tune to other um, topics about AWS Cloud. Good day.